Well, he's laughing, he's smiling. <laughs> I got he him can't going control already. himself. Last time we'll see this. Got him going. This is it. Vin Parisi already got him going. How do you keep a straight face with Vin Parisi, Shaheen Holloway? He won't smile until St. Patrick's Day, so enjoy <laughs> it now. <laughs> True. My question to you guys is how you guys keep a straight face, man. It's hard. We got two, two comedians here. This is the king comedian right so here. So for those who yeah, don't know. Yeah. Not to mention my eyes are itchy from the sports coat. <laughs> for those who don't know, they've worked together. No, I do. I do love it. Do you have any stories about him that you can share? I can't share stories on him. Not on the uh, Some of the stories we got. Can't do it, John. Was he on can't time to work? Yeah. He, he left the court the street. He probably been on time. <laughs> Thank, thanks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was at my wedding. Yeah. How was that night? It was good. Great night. Great, Great night. night. He liked the appetizers. He made the rounds during the cocktail like, hour. He came to the end. I invaded. Yes. I got in trouble too. Big time, time desserts scene and situation. That sounds fun. His wedding was big time. I'm, I'm the only one at the table that went. Tariq had to miss well, the, it as well. The timing wasn't great. Labor Day on a Friday. That's tough. He had a family, you, he had a family commitment. Yeah. Thank you for hitting the dance floor. Did I? Well? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Slow dance, slow dance. Yeah. <laughs> you, did you just wake up from that night? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's talk Seton Hall basketball. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Year two at the helm. You, we just saw Kadari Richmond walk by, and, and last week you said that, yeah, it's a lot to put on the man's shoulders, but I'm tasking him with leading our team. How have you seen him grow as a leader? last year and I think Tariq asked me a question about about that uh, and for him um, this year has been night and day it's been night and day uh, you know he came in this summer you know, in great shape you know, he came in this summer with a lot to prove um, I made him a captain um, you know I, I it's a lot of responsibility being a captain on my team you know um, so he's been doing everything I asked of him and, and more you've obviously been you know high on these guards Sha, w with the experience and a lot of talk out there in this preseason about Dylan today Wusu and you know how he's transformed his body and stuff. How, how, how did he go about? What did you put him through this off season physically? It's about D Dylan. Dylan, um, you know what? Just Dylan. It was, it was somebody that I was looking at coming out of high school, right? I was trying to get him at St. Peter's. Then he went to St. John's. Um, you know, and when he got in the portal, we, we talked, and you know, I said, listen, you know, I think it makes a lot of sense. We both thought it makes sense for both of us. He came in, I said, listen, you got to do with your body. Um, to his credit, he did it. You know, he's a great nutritionist. He works every day at it. Um, so, super happy to have him. So, you look at your backcourt, you know, hypothetically, obviously, Kadari, Amir Dawes, and Dylan. When I think of those three guys, I think of toughness. I think of defensive-minded, uh, gritty, but talented at the same time, kind of in a reflection of how you want your players to be in the Seton Hall culture. That's how I look at you. Um, do you feel like this is kind of the core group that you want to build around in year two? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have those guys, to tell you the truth. Um, I said it before, I'm going to say it again. I think I got one of the, the better backcourts in the, in, the, in, the, in the league. I feel like they, you know, I feel disrespected for those guys. that They're not getting that just due, but they got to earn it on the court now. They got to go out there and do it. Um, but, yeah, so I think by having those three guys, I got three playmakers on the court at all time. That's what – I want to do. That's my vision. Having look at my St. Peter's teams. You know, you got three guys on the court that could create and uh, play make. Um, and now we have, we have a better shooting team. You know, I think that's going to help us a lot. I got one follow up about Kadari. You know, I, I've heard and read and, and hear about this thing about him having good days, putting good days together, and not having any bad days. What does that mean to you in terms of him having good days in practice? leadership and just being that that guy that you need him to be it means everything you know i tell him all, all the time i've been an everyday guy you gotta be an everyday guy you know where you want to play at and where you want to go you gotta be an everyday guy and like i said so far it's been night and day fellas i gotta tell you the truth um if you guys know me like most of you guys know i don't bs i tell the truth you know he's been it's been night and day you know he's bringing it um you know he's talking more he's more vocal um he hasn't missed a practice now i'm gonna say that something something's gonna happen watch all right uh, but yeah, I haven't missed a practice. <laughs> um, you know, he's been somebody that's been dependable, um, and he's somebody that I've been counting on. And he's, like I said, 
him and Al and and, and Dre, like we're gonna go as far as they take us, and I think that we're gonna go pretty far because of those guys. Sure, I know how these media days work. You, you, you hear so many of the same sentences, and, and you're talking about so many of the same guys. You've had a scrimmage. You know what? Who, who had what, a scrimmage? What's a, what's a name? Who had a scrimmage? I heard that you had a team scrimmage. I don't know. We had that from a guy. But yeah. Okay, that must have been bad info. I'm yeah, sorry. Exactly. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's bad info. <laughs> bad info. I'm sorry, folks. Um, Private. Yeah. Closed door, right? We don't Maybe. normally we have, talk about that on the air, but yeah. you know. I didn't say the name. Well. It was an inter squad okay. scrimmage. It's maybe. October for Blue you. Blue versus white. It's October for you too. It could have been an inter squad scrimmage. Blue <laughs> versus white. What's your question for the coach? Yes, thank you. My coach. question for the coach. Thank you, John. Is, Appreciate it. Who, who's what's a name and what's a guy that maybe nobody's talking about today that we could be in a couple of months? Not to put you on the spot. Good question. No, it's, it's a great question. Right? Yeah, if John ever let me get it out, I thought it was tremendous as well. <laughs> <laughs> This, guy, this guy's the best. Um, you know, I, I think Dre, Dre, Dre David, right? I would say that why because before Dre got hurt last year, he was our leading scorer. Yeah. Right. Um, now that he's back, he's healthy. Um, I expect him to have a tremendous, tremendous role for us. And have a have a have a great season. And also to, to be totally honest with you, I think that you know Ja Jaquan Sanders, right? You know, he's a guy that you know was a four star recruit for Seton Hall before I got there. Didn't play that much last year for me. Mm -hmm. This summer he got his body in shape. Um, he, he can shoot the basketball. Um, I'm looking for him to have a tremendous jump for us as well. We look forward to watching your Pirates take the court. Shaheen, thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Thanks, Shaheen. Appreciate it, Coach. This is Coach Holloway. And Paul Frischner is joined by Kadari Richmond. You got something. It's great to be with you here, and it's good to be it's here hours. at Madison Square Garden. What are some of the things that you're most looking forward to this upcoming season? Um, just being able to get after it with a hungry group of guys. We went through a very hard preseason, just getting after each other. It would be good to play against somebody else. <laughs> How are you feeling personally? Uh, I feel good. I'm very happy. Uh, I like the guys in the locker room. We're very together, very ready to go. So that's all you can ask for. Yeah, I know it was probably a tough off season for you as you're trying to get cleared, trying to get back into the swing of things. And now, are you feeling healthy? Yeah, I feel good. I'm ready to go. Uh, yeah, I got cleared in July, and I've been going at it ever since. Your coach is just talking so highly of you and what you can bring to this team this year and your experience. What's it like for you to have that backing and that encouragement and that experience now and put all of that together into this season? Um, just to know that he'll be with me uh, even when I'm playing well, playing bad, in a slump. I know he's going to be there regardless, so I'm just thankful for that. What's some of the biggest things that you feel like this offseason has proved to the Seton Hall team? Um, that we're going to be able to play with anybody and beat the best of the best and just stay together through it all. If you had one message for Seton Hall fans watching this right now and, and what to expect out of the Seton Hall team this year, what would it be? Uh, a lot of great hard nose defense, uh, junking the game up, making it ugly, and winning. All right, Kadari, thanks so much. I appreciate it, and best of luck this season. Thank you. John, back to you.